This podcast is brought to you by Enlightening Learners Academic Coaching and Tutoring Services. In this presentation, we're going to learn to factor guided questions. Make sure that these and all subsequent notes are presented in Cornell format with the questions on the left and the details on the right. Make sure that you include your summary at the end to illustrate what this section is about. All right, so we want to factor. What it means to factor? It means to divide, to break down. How can we break this number down into all of its prime numbers? Well, I know that it's an even number, so I know that it can be divided by 2. So 2 is going to be a factor, and if you, it's going to be 2 times 18. I'm going to continue that process until I get all prime numbers. 2 is a prime, so I'm going to circle it. It's going to come down towards the bottom. 18 can be broken down into 2, it's an even number, and 9. Well, 9 is also can be broken down. And both of those numbers are prime. 2 times 2 times 3 times 3 are my factored numbers. Now, if you think about it, I can make this any combination. And as long as I'm multiplying them all together, it'll work. This can be 2 times 3 is 6. And 2 times 3 is 6. 6 times 6 is 36. I can say 9 times 4 is 36. I can do 2 times 2 times 3, which is 12, times 3 is 36. And once again, I know this is an even number. It's 2 and 12. This can be broken down to 2 and 6. 6 can be broken down into 2 and 3. My prime numbers are 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. Another way to say this is 2 to the third power times 3. Okay, finding the greatest common factor. You've got two or more numbers, and you need to find the number, the, the largest number that can go into both of these. So this becomes 2 times 18, which becomes 6 times 3, which becomes 2 times 3. I'm going to do that again. 2 times 12. 2 times 6 times 2. 3 times 2. Here's all my primes. 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. Now what I want to do is find all my common elements. I have a 3 that's common. I have a 2 that's common. I have another 2 that's common. Well, and then I have another 3, but I don't have another 3 in here to be common with it. I have a 2 here, but I don't have another 2 over here. So these are all my common elements. When I multiply those all together, I get 2 times 2 times 3, or 12. The largest number that can go into 36 and 24 is 12. Okay. Just to illustrate, these are the numbers that we want to break our compound numbers down to. These are all of your prime numbers, and they continue on. The next prime number would be 51, 
and then 53, and so on. So the, the, a prime number, by definition, can only be divided by 1 and itself. So this is only 7 times 1. This is only 19 times 1. This is only 11 times 1. This is only 13 times 1, etc.